Hello everyone and welcome to Stash It Monday. This is Helen. I dug deep in the old stash this week to bring you this layout. These photos are from last year and I was at my friend Marita's house. That's her in the middle with the butterflies. And we were playing on Snapchat. You can also see Marita's daughter Georgia poking her tongue out with me. Anyway, I printed them out quite small to keep the perspective and then matted them onto white cardstock so they look like one strip of photos. And then I went down a very, hmm, I'd like to say dark path, but you can see it's quite white actually. I had this idea of doing a bit of mixed media. Well, I do achieve it, but not quite how I uh, envisaged it when I started it. As you can see here I've used a bit of tissue paper to map behind the photos and then I found a bit of oh, book paper or a page out of a book and decided to ink that up and use that as well as a layer. I did actually find a different piece first but some of the words on it mm, I didn't think were very appropriate to put on a layout with a child. Anyway after digging around I found this piece which was much more appropriate and I've used some distress ink and inked around the edges and then as you can see wetted it on my mat and then dipped the paper in just to get some different effects with it and really um, it's fun doing it you don't see that much of it on the end because I've covered it with the photo but it was fun and I also use this old piece of embossed paper that I've had floating around in my drawers now here comes the uh, dark path that I took. I found some Ken Oliver watercolour crystals and also some liquid metallics and sprayed them, sprinkled them on, sprayed them with water and maybe if I'd left it here and let it dry it would have been fine. But here is where I took the wrong path. You can see where the gesso was and it just looks disgusting. But rather than giving in, I thought, what can I do? Started ripping away, add some more ink, I mean, just keep adding ink and colouring. <sighs> yeah, probably not my finest moment, but at least it was done. I've used some of the same techniques here on this piece where I've put the distress ink onto the silicon mat, sprayed it with water, dipped the page into it, and then I thought, let's try it straight onto the page. I mean, how much more disgusting can it, can it, can it get? It was fun playing around anyway. Went through my stash of chipboard and found this floral piece and thought that would look really nice. So, once again, dove into the stash and decided to use some things that I haven't used for quite some time and I found a purple set of magicals from Lindy Stamp Gang added it to some satin varnish so that it became a paste and decided to paint the flowers with it quite effective in the long run or in the end I, I quite enjoyed it it was quite a vibrant purple colour to start with so I added some pink magicals to it just to tone it down and it was drying quite quickly because it had the varnish added to it. Pulled out the little flowers as well and quickly painted them up so that I could use them to add to the floral arrangement. Each week we have an inspiration mood board that we're supposed to use. And I always forget to do that until... I start the layout and then I think, oh, I didn't check what was inspirational this week. And so I kind of fudge how I've got my inspiration. And luckily this week on the mood board, there was a picture with a lot of flowers on it. I thought, oh, I can say that's the inspiration I took from this week's mood board. Anyway, back to the layout. I really dove deep into my stash this week. And I found this piece of lace and these chipboard scalloped pieces that comes from a company called Collections that was a West Australian company that closed down quite a few years ago now. But they were just sitting there waiting to be used. 
you saw I glued on a few extra pieces and that was just I thought they're lying around there the scraps if I put them behind that purple paper it's just going to give it some dimension because the piece there with the lace is quite bumpy and you can see I painted it with some spray from Lindy Stamp Gang I use the I use the I should go and get my glasses because I can't read it French lilac violet I also used a paintbrush and splattered some around the page as well and then you can see I'm just gluing down the painted floral pieces just making almost like an L kind of shape layout really it just glue them down looks good put the photo on a few times just to make sure I'm you can see the flowers and you can see uh, in a minute I'm going to pull some scissors out and chop some stems off just because they were sitting not how I like them I left most of them there just to give support behind the photo and then gluing them down I'm using my creative expressions glue from that I picked up one time from England I say creative expressions I could be wrong I think it's actually cosmic shimmer glue sorry cosmic shimmer it's a quite a good glue actually also in another set of chipboard I found some these butterflies and thought well the yellow butterflies around Marita's head I should paint them yellow but they were just a bit too yellow so pulled out another old stash piece some mm, treasured something or other it's smudgy inky treasure gold but in a purpley color don't ask me what color I don't know and just added that to the butterflies and what you also didn't see was off camera because I forgot to record it I sprayed them with another Lindy Stamp Gang spray a star burst spray called yellow roses of Texas and it just gave it a nice goldy glimmer to it and you can see I've got my fine line bottle out which has got tacky glue in it I use that one just because the butterflies are so precise and finely cut that that way the little nozzle allowed me to get the glue in the right spot and then I trimmed down the back page and used my sanding tool to just rough up the edges and then I thought mm, I just need something else oh I did try putting some enamel liquid enamel on the center of the flowers and I did oh liquid pearls I apologize in orchid color and I did do that a few times but turned the page over and smudged them a few times as well pulled out purple watercolor crayon from Prima just to add some around um, purple tone around you can see around it and I forgot to record where I also used some 3d gloss gel and some purple beads that I found in my stash to just add those three spots of beads and I'm finishing off with some enamel dots and then these clear stickers that I've had for quite a while I think they were from Heidi Swap and really that's about it I glue the layout down to some purple cardstock that I've had in my stash for a long time as well so it's become a very monochromatic I suppose layout mainly purples with touches of gold and I do get some gold thickers out to put the title on really original hashtag snapchat mainly because I couldn't really think of anything else and then I did a tiny bit of journaling with a purple pen needs to be more purple really doesn't it anyway I hope you've enjoyed this stash busting layout today until next time see you later thanks for watching